If you love the Starbucks peppermint mocha, but you don't love the price tag or having to make a coffee shop run every time you fancy one, I've got good news for you. This is a Starbucks drink that's actually fairly simple to make at home, and I'm gonna walk you through the steps. Now, I went and ordered a peppermint mocha from Starbucks so that I could accurately recreate the flavors for y'all. The flavor of the peppermint was fairly strong, and the coffee took a back seat in this drink. In fact, the first time I ordered it, I thought that they had forgotten to add the shot of espresso because I pretty much couldn't taste any coffee. So I ordered it again, and while I thought that the coffee flavor was a little bit stronger, it still wasn't very strong at all. The drink was also quite rich, which I enjoyed. Okay, to make this iconic drink at home, you'll need one shot of espresso or two tablespoons of strongly brewed coffee. I have a video showing four different ways that you can make espresso strength coffee without an espresso machine, so make sure to check that out if you don't own a machine. I tested this recipe using the French press and instant coffee methods. Three tablespoons of chocolate syrup. I tested this drink using my homemade chocolate syrup recipe, which will be in the description. I ordered a few pumps of the Starbucks mocha sauce off to the side so that I could taste it by itself, and it pretty much tasted like chocolate syrup. It was actually kind of bland. My homemade version is definitely more flavorful and a little bit salty. Also of note, the mocha sauce was quite a bit thinner than my homemade chocolate syrup. Now, you could also use store-bought chocolate syrup or substitute one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder and two to three teaspoons of sugar or a sweetener of choice. Okay, you'll also need eight ounces of whole milk. Starbucks uses 2%, but I prefer whole milk. And for that peppermint flavor, you'll need one eighth teaspoon of peppermint flavoring. Now Starbucks uses their peppermint syrup to flavor this drink and you can definitely purchase peppermint coffee syrup at some grocery stores. But if you'd prefer not to purchase a specialty coffee syrup, the peppermint flavoring is a nice alternative. By the way, I'll have the Starbucks ratios of syrups later on in this video. Okay, to make the drink, place the espresso in a 12 to 16 ounce mug. Place the milk and chocolate syrup or cocoa powder and sweetener in a small saucepan. Heat over the stove to around 155 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to froth the milk. I have a whole video with eight different ways to froth milk without an espresso machine, but my personal favorite methods are either a hand pump frother or a French press. Now, right before you froth the milk, add the peppermint flavoring. I found that if you add the flavoring right to the espresso in the mug, it doesn't get emulsified very well, and then the drink can be unevenly flavored. Adding it to the milk just before frothing produced much better results. Okay, froth the milk until it reaches your preferred level of foaminess. Pour over the espresso in the mug. Now, Starbucks tops their peppermint mocha with whipped cream and chocolate shavings, which makes this drink extra decadent. You can purchase canned whipped cream for a super easy option, but it's also pretty easy to make your own whipped cream at home. You'll need two tablespoons of heavy cream, one teaspoon of sugar, and one eighth teaspoon of vanilla. Whip using a handheld milk frother or hand mixer until thickened to your liking. Spoon over the drink, shave some chocolate on top, and your homemade peppermint mocha is complete and ready to enjoy. This recipe makes approximately a Starbucks tall or 12 ounce peppermint mocha. Let's go over the Starbucks ratio of ingredients. Keep in mind that a Starbucks syrup pump is half a tablespoon or half an ounce. For a short or eight ounce peppermint mocha, Starbucks uses two pumps of peppermint syrup, two pumps of mocha sauce, and one shot of espresso. For a tall or 12 ounce peppermint mocha, they use three pumps of peppermint syrup, three pumps of mocha sauce, and one shot of espresso. For a grande or 16 ounce, it's four pumps each of peppermint syrup and mocha sauce, and two shots of espresso. And for a venti or 20 ounce, it's five shots each of the peppermint syrup and mocha sauce, and two shots of espresso. Now for my favorite part, the price comparison. At Starbucks, a tall peppermint mocha will set you back around $5.25 before taxes and tips. With taxes and tips, it will be closer to six or $7. My homemade version, on the other hand, will only set you back around 94 cents, or we could round it up to about a dollar. This will, of course, vary depending on the quality of ingredients that you use, but it's safe to say that it's a significant savings to make this drink at home. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and here's that guide for how to make espresso strength coffee at home without having to purchase an expensive espresso machine. I think I'll do it. This is a Starbucks, uh, the Starbucks drink that act, uh, Starbucks drink. Starbucks drink that, I can't say it. The favorite, for a twal, uh, twal, 14 pumps, for 20 ounce, ounce, it's five shots, uh, five shots, eats, eats, the peppermint. It has pockets. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.